Shalom. First, <laughs> first and foremost, all praises, honor, glory, and respect due to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rachakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to the hopeful elect, pushing this word in truth and sincerity. To the Israelite foreigners scattered throughout the four corners of the earth who may look like the heathen nations. And to the few sisters that listen and learn. To you, Shalom. All right. My name is Yasharala, Great Millstone, Chicago. And uh, as you can see, <laughs> This is a picture of a ISUPK member. All right, I believe it's an ISUPK member. Dressed up, looking like a, <laughs> a Power Ranger slash Mortal Kombat uh, character. All right, which this, this gives the bad impression of, uh, you know, this is, this is not what we want to push. We don't want to push the spirit of um of us taking up arms and getting ready to fight against the enemy that's a bad look all right because that goes completely against the scriptures all right and even if we did do that and we try to fight against our enemies the main enemy being esau edom uh and we try to fight against him carnally guess what we will get destroyed in a heartbeat like he'll literally just mow you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans down without even blinking. All right, your uh, your shield, your, your armbands, your uh, boots, they ain't bulletproof. They ain't uh, um, radio freaking microwavable proof, none of that, because he got all types of guns, laser guns, it ain't none of that that you're gonna be able to stop, but our enemy has in store all right i'm gonna just read some scriptures and yeah how willing it's edifying this is second corinthians 10 and 4 for the weapons of our warfare are not carnal but mighty through god to the pulling down the strongholds so our weapons of warfare aren't carnal it ain't gonna be with the sword it's not gonna be with the gun it is not gonna be with a shield it's not going to be with, with with anything physical. All right, our our warfare is spiritual. All right, and and our our main weapon is uh the 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 Bible. Okay, let me see. It's the book of Hebrews. Oops. Hebrews. Oh, darn it. I didn't want to do that. I got to get used to this. Let me see. This is the book of Hebrews. Four. Word of God is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged two sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit and the joints and marrow, and is a discern, discerner of the thoughts and the intents of the heart. So our weapon is the scriptures, all right? It's sharper than any two-edged sword, okay? And the modern, the, today's sword, the modern-day sword would be the gun, all right, missiles and all types of other weaponry. But um, ours isn't that because that's carnally. Ours is spiritually. It's through this word. Like it says in 2 Thessalonians, it says, um, um, by the spirit of, of his mouth, all right, we're going to um, pretty much take down this uh, this kingdom. It's, it's through um, the, the word of the Lord. All right. Not us strapping up and arming up and taking pictures. Th this is helping the enemy gather intel 
to further come up against us, okay? So you're, you're making it easier for the enemy to come against us, which he's going to do that anyways. But now it's not going to be just uh, your camp. It's gonna, they're going to see this and um, gather us all up into one group, which we have nothing to do with ISUPK. Those guys are completely bugged out. All right, let's grab a... Uh, Let's grab another scripture. This is uh, Exodus 14 and 14. Yahweh shall fight for you and ye shall hold your peace. So we ain't even got to do none of that. We ain't got to get all suited and booted and looted up with straps and swords and shields. Yahweh's going to fight for us. Yahweh Shai is going to fight for us. Okay. You by you taking up arms and trying to fight this this uh devil esau edom the self-proclaimed uh white people you're going against uh what the lord set up all right because we have a savior it's what's, what's what's the purpose of having a savior if you want to go and fight the enemy you're trying to save yourself so then you're saying you don't need yahweh shy then all right i'm gonna keep this short just get straight to it all right, this is the last scripture I got. It's Zephaniah 3 and 8. Therefore, wait ye upon me, saith Yahweh, until the day that I raise up to the prey. For my determination is to gather the nations that I may assemble the kingdoms to pour upon them mine indignation, even all my fierce anger from all the earth shall be devoured with the fire of my jealousy. So we got to wait on Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Okay, he said to wait upon him until he rises up to the prey. Okay, and by you doing that yourself, you're going off. You're going off. We got to wait for the Lord. We will not win carnally. The only way we win is spiritually, is and it's through pushing his word, prophesying, preaching. Waking up the lost sheep of the house of Israel was consists of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Alright. Not this dude. Not uh uh noob sci-fi <laughs> sub-zero Israelite looking ass. Alright, this ain't you ain't good luck with that. Let's see, let's see how that shield hold up against uh some uh 50 cal armor piercing bullets. See how that hold up. But I will tell you this, that if we put our faith in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, what's the scripture say? The scripture say, no weapon formed against thee shall prosper. And that's and that's being spiritual, waiting for the Lord to give us spiritual powers. With that, Yahweh willingness was edifying to next time. Shalom.